Now it's time to check out the new feature of Laravel 5.7 which is Symfony Dump Server. What exactly this is and how it's going to work, let's see in the action. So here we have the Laravel 5.7 installation and now what we are going to do, I will open the integrated terminal of VS Code and here inside this, I'm going to say PHP Artisan or why not use the simple alias I have created. So PA PHP Artisan and then I will say dump hyphen server. Uh, what is going to do? It's not looking so good and it's just saying okay TCP something something but what exactly this is useful for and let me show you. So let's open home controller uh, anywhere you can go but let's for now home controller and what I'm going to do you probably die dump things to check whatever you have on that particular instance. So whenever this function is called, if it is called, then we will say die dump the check and this ensure that okay, this function is working properly and then we will move on. So if I go to the home, yeah, it, it doesn't have anything actually, but what happened here? So die dump is not going to show anything here, but it has something on your console. So this is very useful. By using this die dump, what you are getting, everything on the console, you don't have to go here and check. You don't have to worry about these things. And instead of die dump, why not use dump only? And we are not going to die anything. So our uh, URL or our HTTP system, that means our functionality is working absolutely fine. But in the middle of that, what we are dumped, we can easily see on the console. You can see we have refreshed two times. So that's why it has two. And this is very, very useful when, so let's say you have user and here you have also the all users by some means you have some error and you have even, you have even passed the users here and by because of some reason it's not showing on your view so you can check it here so i will say users and let's clear it out and go refresh this page uh, we can't see anything here but on the console you can see we have all the users which is we can see properly so yes it has all these things related to that particular user instance and we can easily debug these things so that's the use of this dump server so how it's going to work and where it is actually this is a package created by marshall and if we go to the package by marshall and here is the github repository of this uh, uh, dump server level dump server you can probably see here how they are doing things so dump server and it is dumped so whenever we go yeah we have dumped here and then he's saying that okay whenever you refresh there something goes here which is showing this so that's exactly what we are going to use from now with level 5.7 and if you are excited about this just go and check out this repository and you will feel some new things here and if that the case just let me know on the comment section and if you have liked this episode please go and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get instant notification like bitfilms on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye